Welcome back everyone to Sawmill Base Build Part 3. So you just saw I got the rails um, from the front and brought them back to where the steel I-beams uh, and where we're going to actually set the sawmill. So what we're going to be doing is putting the rail system down on top of the steel and then marking it and drilling straight through this onto this because we're going to be making an entire leveling system for it because if the beams shift up or down I want to be able to make sure the rail of the mill is perfectly level and I got a nice straight cut um, I'm totally new at this so this is gonna be my first attempt uh, so stick with me and uh, hit that subscribe button because we're starting to grow uh, I want to hit uh, 500 so I can do like a subscriber giveaway um, and yeah because I do a lot of work at still distribution and I got some cool still merch. So let's get to it.
right, step one complete. We got the uh, rails on the I-beams. Now we're gonna just lay it out. We'll bolt these together and then we'll be able to drill through this steel, through the I-beam, and then be able, <clears throat> excuse me, to put three quarter inch all thread through and we'll put some check nuts on it. And that's what will allow me to level it this way and this way. See, I can already see a problem with what what's happening here okay so they gave they gave me a hardware package and it does look like I'm missing washers I don't know why they don't have washers to bolt the track sections together uh, whether it be the flat washer the fender washer and the lock washer so what I think I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go down to the hardware store and get some flat washers and lock washers because I think it'll definitely make a big difference you know to hold this together tightly you know I don't know why they don't give them to you but we'll make it better than it was well I got one hole done 23 more to go that is not easy drilling through thick steel high beams <laughs> whoever thought this was a good idea uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe I should have thought of a different plan of attack, but uh, I should probably just invest in a magnetic drill or something and just drill it like they probably, that's how they probably do the beams. But I'm just going to keep plugging away at it and uh, see how many drill bits I burn up. <laughs> guys that's gonna do it for this one I'm gonna get to drilling drilling is pretty boring you don't want to see me do all that but in the next video I'll have this all drilled up we'll be cutting the um, all thread and start the leveling system for the base and that's gonna be a pretty interesting episode so stay tuned hit that subscribe button if you didn't already give me a big thumbs up because that helps too so I'll catch you on the next one